Reinventing Sustainability. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 176. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our Weekly Progress Update number 176, August 7th, 2016 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. And if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list. Or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and manage your updates that way. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core standards. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the third 25% of the written content for the honesty and integrity lesson plan to the website, as you see here. This lesson plan purpose to teach all subjects, to all learning levels, in any learning environment, using the central theme of honesty and integrity, is now 75% completed on our website. Behind the scenes, we wrote the first 25% of the written part of the beliefs lesson plan. We also completed the third 25% of the mind map for the information lesson plan, bringing it to 75% complete, which you see here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week in Highest Good Food, we collated three spreadsheets to make one updated, comprehensive, and accurate list for the equipment we will need for the transition kitchen, as you can see here. The one community approach to Highest Good Housing is eco artistic home building that is affordable sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This last week, the core team put another 10 hours into the behind-the-scenes revision for the footers, foundations, and flooring page for the crowdfunding campaign we are developing. This week, we reviewed all content, video, and articles in Section 16 resources to assure relevancy due to significant narrative changes since inception. We also matched up all videos to coincide with those listed in that section and then numbered all green step narratives in section 4, 5, 7, and 8 to coincide with step headings for ease of finding them. EPS and red ceiling tape photos and description were also added to the materials list. We'd say we are now 93% complete with this total update and rewrite behind the scenes. We also created new, more compact and much clearer images to the new page we're developing to open source the communal vermiculture eco-toilet designs. You can see some of these updated images here. Sal Rubio, industrial designer, continued working on creating professional, do-it-yourself, earth bag village, Murphy bed furniture assembly instructions. What you see here is week 11 of this process that included this update to the table of contents format. Brianna Johnson, interior designer, continued evolving the renders for the Straw Bale Village Pod 2. What you see here are her ideas for the layout of all of her renders for inclusion in the online book we're creating that will be an overview of all seven villages and the Duplical City Center. Vidya Patil, quality surveyor and civil CAD drafter, also continued with her second week of cost analysis for the Straw Bale Village. What you see here are her initial analysis results for the gym, meeting room, play area, and computer room. And Dean Schulz, architectural designer, Further developed what's necessary for us to create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. 
Here's update 30 of his work that focused on final touches and then incorporation of the new rooftop grill and shade structure designs, and then beginning the work of adding greenery we intend to grow on the sides of this village. Also, Hamilton Matika, AutoCAD draftsperson and designer, continued evolving the compressed earth block village, Pod 4. You can see his second week of work here, showing the redesign of the family living units on the north side of the structure so that they share plumbing walls and the addition of an elevator and three more units in the south, and adding individual bathrooms for all the south units. Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, also continued with his eighth week of Photoshop work on the renders for the shipping container village Pod 5, and also finished adding blue accents for the render for the compressed earth block village Pod 4, which you see here. For the shipping container village, this week's focus were the finalized versions of the dining area looking south, this family layout looking out, and this family layout looking in. Zachary Moline also continued updating the Treehouse Village Pod 7 book created by last year's intern team. This week he created the page and image you see here. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued working on the Duplicate City Center 3D renders. What you see here are the render updates in the dining dome, north view of the kitchen, where new details were added and the lights and shadows were adjusted. We also did the initial render setup for the root cellar and external views. Upesh Sithala, interior designer and drafter, also completed this first section drawing for the dining dome. And Iris Sue, industrial designer, continued exploring recycled pipe shelving and overhead lighting options for the Duplical City Center Library. What you see here is round 14 of this work showing another ceiling design for the lights. Dipti Dondarker, electrical engineer, continued her work on the lighting zones by further cleaning up and clarifying on the AutoCAD file where each zone begins and ends. The lower image is additional zones that still need to be added. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This last week, the core team completed the first round of the shipping container village, Pod 5, color board and the first round of the color board for the Recycled Materials Village, Pod 6, and the first round of the color board for the Treehouse Village, Pod 7, bringing all three to about 85% complete. Also this week, we revised the Cobb Village, Pod 3 color board, which is now 99% complete. Jennifer Zhao, web designer, additionally continued her work developing the new website structure. What you see here is week four of her work as she continues with a new homepage design. This week's focus is on how to feature different languages, updated image and video placement formatting, and beginning to work on the filter and search system at the bottom. One community is reinventing sustainability as an open source industry. Our way of doing this is first and foremost by evolving sustainability to include emotional sustainability. What this means is we're taking the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, and we're combining them with what we've identified as the emotional foundations, which would be highest good education, highest good economics, fulfilled living practices, and true earth stewardship. Putting these things together to create a version of sustainability that includes the psychological aspects, the foundations of happiness, as well as the physical foundations of sustainability. That's the first step in reinventing sustainability. The second step is open sourcing and free sharing, do-it-yourself tools, tutorials, resources, and instructions for all of those different components. The food, the energy, the housing, the education, the for-profit, non-profit business creation, the fulfilled living practices, and the truer stewardship, putting all that together is that evolution of sustainability and building a prototype community, village, teacher demonstration hub, purpose to invite people to come and experience it. And if they like what they see, if they like any aspect of what they see. To be able to take that and replicate it or modify it, adapt it, evolve it even further and hopefully contribute that back to the open source global suite of instructions, do-it-yourself instructions, tools, tutorials, resources, blueprints so that other people have other options too. 
This is our idea for reinventing sustainability and the teacher demonstration community village city or hub is designed to be a solution model purpose to create additional solution creating models. Meaning that once a teacher demonstration hub is built, it will specifically teach others how to build additional teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs. And working as a global collaboration, these hubs will expand on the open source offerings and evolve the entire open source industry, or sorry, the entire sustainability industry to be open source. This doesn't mean that we're doing away with capitalism. It means that we are creating a foundation of open source so that innovative ideas and projects can be taken to the next level by taking those foundations of sustainability and making them easily accessible to the common person with average means and average knowledge so that they can replicate it in a way that works best for them. To accomplish all this, we're bringing together the people with the consciousness for the highest good of all, who believe that creating a world that truly works for everyone is possible, and it's possible within our lifetime. And so this open source path, this reinventing of sustainability, is designed to accomplish that, to create a world that truly works for everybody. See, we believe that the knowledge already exists, and there's certainly enough people to accomplish the goal, because it doesn't take everybody to be on board. It only takes a percentage, a small percentage of people to reach that tipping point where we build a bridge between pragmatism and idealism and finally simultaneously and comprehensive address all of the major challenges that humanity is facing right now. Homelessness, lack of energy, lack of waste disposal infrastructure, uh, education, improved education, addressing social injustice and inequality. All of these things we see as not only interrelated, but as interdependent. And so the complete teacher demonstration community, village, city, and hub model is designed to simultaneously address all of these things because they're interdependent. This is our idea of reinventing sustainability. So if this sounds interesting to you, if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds exciting to you, if it's something you'd like to participate in, we invite you to get involved. We have lots of different ways anybody can participate. We have ways ranging from the pioneer team that will move to the property, build one community, and live at one community, to just working behind the scenes as volunteers, to just sharing our information on social media. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We are on Facebook, Facebook, we are on Twitter, we are on Tumblr, we are on Reddit, we are on Sue, we are on Pinterest, and about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible for people to get the information out there so that more people are exposed to what it is that we're doing, so more people can use what it is that we're creating, and so more people can get involved in whatever way works best for them. Of course, the other thing that we're seeing, we're still seeking large-scale funding so we can get the property that we've been focusing on for five years now under the ownership of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. So if you or somebody you know is interested in investing in One Community or donating to our 501c3 nonprofit organization, we would love to speak with you. Our team is a complete volunteer unpaid team. So every donation that we get goes towards forwarding our global goals. And even the $5, the $10, the $25, the $50 donations, all of those are, they help. They help cover the expenses of running a global organization like ours, which are still sizable. Even though our entire team is volunteer and unpaid, it still really makes a difference to help cover our expenses. So thank you for everybody that makes the donations. And we're looking for that individual or small group that would like to take funding to the next level and help us purchase the property that we've been working on and uh, in, the, in the county that we've already built relationships with and that we're designing around. This is what one community is doing. And reinventing sustainability is something that anybody can participate in because we are clearing the pathways, the path, the road is clear, and we're clearing away all the barriers to participation, making it as easy as possible, and building this open source global suite because we know that if we can make sustainability easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough, then the idea will spread on its own. And for us, that means a self-replicating teacher demonstration community, village, city, and hub that can spread across the world and ultimately simultaneously address all of humanity's challenges in a way that's adaptable, malleable to the, challenge, the changing challenges of this generation, generations to come, to create a truly sustainable civilization that is humanity living on planet Earth. It's the only Earth that we have to share, and so this is what we're doing. So as always, thanks for following our progress. If you like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content that we have discussed in this update, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will add you to our newsletter list or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and manage your updates that way.
Thanks for following our progress. Till next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you. <laughs>